one week later she told me her mom is sick so me could decide twende house to kona mama yake mm-hmm. then it was on a weekend no it was like on a thursday jioni so aka alikuwa na gari by the way like mm-hmm. a benz it was something like benz le baridi sana so uh, just a moment dem de alikuwa na gari yeah. ama ni family yake ilikuwa na gari the whole family kila mtu i think hapo kila mtu akona gari yake so gari ya dem ni benz kitu something hapo so uh, when uh, on a thursday june after work mm-hmm. she came akanchukua jo tukaenda so kufika hosi miss si kwa njoo like mama yake akona shida gani unaona so kufika hosi um, the whole family since monday wamekuwa kiran test no one is matching na shindwa ni nini mm-hmm. like mi unaambiwa wamekuwa kiran test no one is matching hawaambiwa wa match nini mm-hmm. so i thought ni blood anataka maybe kuongezwa damu so kufika huko the doctor uh, can introduce kwa familia and kila mtu akotu hapo mm-hmm. then doctor akasema since everyone amejaribu mimi ndo nimebaki nikienda huko siko na kitu like kwenda kurana any test so the doctor akafanya test zao then hakuja akasema nime match so mimi i thought ni blood surgery ka happen before the surgery me doctor aliambia like at this point it's 50-50 i'm not going to guarantee you unaweza toka poo high cuz some of some of the poo wanakuwa na complication na kufa mm. and maybe unaweza toka poo high and your health you got a complicated state mm. so leave you all mean kind we did the surgery nakaka host like two weeks no one knows where i am um Semeni wa rap mko vipi karibu ndani ya Empower Group Production ambapo tunakuletea mazungumzo ya kufana and we bring you some amazing stories. Langu jina ni Jitabi Suleiman na mkurugenzi wangu Director Daya. And today, umoi kuwa kwa t- katika ile taswira ambayo unajiwekea ukisema ya kwamba you love someone in that you can do anything for her or for him. Unapenda mtu in that uone ukimfanya kitu ama kiwe any big deal. You can do whatever she wants. Even you can you can kill yourself for her. Wajua kwenye mapenzi ukwanga ukwanga ngori. So today I want to talk to an amazing guy, a very handsome young young gentleman ambaye I just want us tupatie masikio, tupate kusikia ni nini kile ambacho atatuambia. Mambo vipi? Poa sana. Karibu ndani ya Empire Group Production and uh, we are happy to have you here. I appreciate it. Aha, uh-huh. unaitwa nani? Naitwa Blue, Blue Tiger. Blue Tiger. That's your real name. No, my real name is uh, Edwin Colvi. Mhm. Uh, Blue Tiger is an artistic name. Oh, you're an artist. Yeah. Which type of song? I do hip hop, lofi and I'm, I'm also a producer. Mhm. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, unafanya hip hop, unaweza tuguzia line moja tu. Line moja tu. <laughs> um, tunazifanya mwisho. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tutaguzia line moja tukifika pale mwisho. Um, tulikuja hapa kukupatia masikio, tukusikize with your story. Ambapo pia mimi ni, I'm so eager kuisikiza. You know, unani get? Yeah, na kuget. <laughs> Though it looks so amazing, I love your outfit. So nani ameku dress leo morning? Hey, my mom. <laughs> your mom? Yeah. You lying. Ni mom, see you. You look so good. Thanks. Aha, uh-huh, so tell me first, ume grow aje? Grow life yako imekwaje? Um, the whole my entire life ni migrow to na mom, like a single mom. Mm-hmm. Um, dada lead things do happen Ma- dada likufa mm-hmm. so me go to like mom it wasn't that like that good that because uh, on my side mm-hmm. i haven't experienced the, that, that your dad love no no mm-hmm. so mean me go like mom is everything mm-hmm. yeah so uli grow huko place tumekupata ama where did you where did you grow uh, we started living in um dagoreti then later moved to karen so me my entire life to say me to maintain life in karen mm-hmm. yeah na ushago hey, si ju ushago So which tree by you? Amaluo. Luo, ushagoni kisumu. <laughs> Nimepata. <I guess> <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's your journey vile ume grow you have just grown up with a mom. Yeah. Right? The great then mka move to right. Karen. And uh, your education career? Mm, education uh, at this point no matter na endelea na chef like I I didn't na pena kupika sana like here in the entire hobby like a home mm-hmm. to be like like kile maisha like uh, we house chores like mm. ni lazima tufanye mm-hmm. so mi hobby yangu ni kupika so nimetoka music production so na like 
na goja kuenda rini kusomia chef. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, vile tumekuja, tumekupata ina Catholic environment. Directors jamu na za Zoom ule msala, but that cross there, it elaborates this is a Catholic place, right? So meaning, you are a Catholic and uh, apart from that, unapenda Christianity environment. Not really in a place to a job to go under Christianity, mm -hmm. but I'm a Catholic, I'm altar servant. Oh, okay, if you're an altar servant, why can't you just be a father? Hakuna za tujidanganya, tunapenda hizi vitu. So you want us to get down to the story. Yeah. Amba siju, siju unataka tuanzi angol gani. Unataka kuanzi angol gani? You know, tutachagua. Yoyote. Yeah. Uh -huh. Give us a little overview. Unajua kale kale kadogo. Kale kadogo about your story. Not everything. Kadogo. Okay. Um, fell in love, donated a kidney, went... Um, Fell in love, donated a kidney, katangoza nimekufa, then nikashikwa, then here I am. Repeat. Fell in love, donated a kidney, nikatangoza nimekufa, nikashikwa na polisi, and here I am. So he donated a kidney. No, he, you felt in love, right? Eh, mapenzi wewe. So he felt in love, donated a kidney, watu wakasema me pass, then uh, akalikuwa meshikwa na polisi, then... We got him here. So to can a love story. Uh will you fall in love when and with who? Okay, um it was at back in twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. I think after an fresh when I was a high school. So my pains ni motive time by the way. If you come with Jay like Jay fell in love that way, mm -hmm. I think Kilam Chakona a certain period in like Lazimo fell in love. Yeah. So like twenty twenty in Kansa job mm -hmm. and uh, I was like a, a instructor, mm -hmm. Karen. So Si tukafutu kapatu na yudemu. Mm -hmm. Kadeo kama weza. Mm -hmm. Mali safi. Na kwa kuna nini gari. Unasikia gari? Mm -hmm. Chana magari, gari. Moja baridi sana. So like, she was just my student. So tuka date. Mm -hmm. uh, at, at the beginning, ilikuwa around uh, January when I first saw her. So by then, nothing was there. Because she was my student. Then tukafunga. Because of the COVID. Then we opened again. So at that time, the vibe ikashikania. And to come with it from there. So you approached her, I'm approach. Okay. To say me too quickly. Me, 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 approach them. It huh? gets tricky. Me, go approach them. Hey, direct on a scale. He doesn't approach a girl. So, them, they'll go jack up approach. Yeah, because since Nikwa, like, no, na, the moment you are a teacher, on a phone, I'm say, you have to, your connection. So, no, na, like, to, to, ukwe karibu na eh. So, I think through that, I got to provide me nine nani ni kakatiwa siyezi kata. Yeah. So, um, tunanza, tumenza po kwa love story. Then, uh, you guys started dating, right? Then, what happened next? So, are you together? What happened? So, after that, I would like, uh, your time, I did my first video, music video. So, I'll, since yako nafanya videography, haka wafa kuni shoot ya. So, haka shoot the video. Then, uh, one week later, she told me her mom is sick. So me could decide twenty hours to call my yake. Then it was on a weekend. No, it was like on a Thursday, June. So aka alikuwa like na gari by the way, like mm -hmm. a Benz. It was something like Benz, like a Benz. So uh, just a moment. Dem de alikuwa na gari. Yeah. Amani family yake alikuwa na gari. The whole family kila mtu I think hapo kila mtu akona gari yake. So gari ya dem ni Benz. Kitu something hapo. So uh, when uh, on a Thursday June after work, mm -hmm. she came Haka nchukwa jau tukaenda. So kufika hosi, mi siku, siku wanajua like mamaki haka wana shida gani. Nona. So kufika hosi, um, the whole family, since Monday wamekua wakira test. No one is marching, na shindwa ni nini. Mm -hmm. Like mi unambiwa wamekua wakira test, no one is marching. Hawambiwa wa marching nini. Mm -hmm. So I thought ni blood. Ataka maybe kuongezo wa damu. So kufika huko, the doctor uh, can introduce kwa familia and kila mtu wakotu hapo. Mm -hmm. Then doctor haka sema, since everyone amejaribu, Mimi ndo nimebaki. Nikienda huko, siku wana kitu like wana kurana ini test. So, the doctor hakafanya test zao, then, hakuja kasama nime match. So, mimi ya thought ni blood. Mm -hmm. So, uh, before, before you tell us what, what really happened, umesema, like vile mulimit, then, hakakati uka ingia box, then you guys started dating. Yeah. Did you ever introduce her to your mom? Ama ya lifanya ni introduction to the family? Ah, uh, no, in, mimi is, 
kudun to introduction kwa like for a guy achukue like dem apeleke masaki has to take years do you enjoy better by then to court me only 2 months oh 2 months yeah. okay uh huh so the test ni endelea mani kuni wapi ni mashi wapi mhm so daktari akasema like you're the one who matches with the yeah, with the test, test. kitu nyalo kwa nafanya but you didn't know what was it yeah. mhm so ni kwa like at that point nimechanganyikiwa so nikamuliza ni gani akanambia her mom ana suffer from kidney and she has like less than 2 weeks because I'm a jaribu test and the only person who is matching ni grandmother wao mhm and the grandmother is like uh, 80 something years na hizo tolewa mhm sasa je sasa ume this is the first day we introduce our family the whole family and like huju fanya nini so the doctor kanambia since ni kitu mambiwa leo Mm -hmm. Go home with these papers. Mm -hmm. Go and home pele like your mom as a sign. Mm -hmm. So, and actually as a sign, you come back to Taran, the, um, the, the surgery. You have less than two weeks. The surgery. So, uka, uka mwawewe, you donate the kidney? It was a shock. So, si kuwa mwa uh -huh. So, at that point, Nicole, like, is either you're saving the mother's, um, the mother's life, and it, like, you're in a position where you have to make a decision, but it's a hard one. Because the journey came home. Mm -hmm. There's no way you're going to tell your mom you don't have a kidney and you're your dem. There's no mm. way. Since it was just a girlfriend, you don't have to your wife. So like, according to Africa, you can't have to like anywhere in this world when you want to convince your, your mom you don't have to kidney. First week, you have to figure out how to approach your mom. Mm -hmm. Second week, you have to figure out how to approach your mom. The third week, you want to come out and approach, come out and approach. The fourth week, you want to come out. By the time we're going to come out, the whole story is like two months or even six months, and the mother has like um, two weeks, less than two weeks. So since you can be a doctor, it will be impossible. When I home, my mama said, "Need to come my easy, na hata itikia." But since ni mecha match, by the si ko ipenda dem kaivyo, like for real, ni ko mependa for real. So ni can be a doctor since ni ko ni above eighteen, I can do it. Was she your first lover? To say me kitu kaya jau inge to me chesa, to me chesa kuchesa. But so yendo le amatu ta se tuli na e. Cause no jo like you ko na ili like umetoka uku inge fresh from high school, umetoka inge like umamu like things are being like una mu kuwa real na mashiako. Yeah. So she mean kaya nika mu nika sign everything the papers and the mother the their family was like should we pay you? And you're not like we make up on them to you all in the name of when you boyfriend okay. Mm -hmm. So you taking the money doesn't bring the any like a good image. So no. no. So only only you did all that to just make the family happy. Not make the family happy to help at least to appreciate to ensure them how much you love. How much you love her. But uh, before before to end the before uka before you make that your mind to to donate. Were you hundred percent sure, like the lady anaku own, like the lady truly loves you? Because yeah. we share. Okay, if if it gets to a point in here, mm -hmm. I had a video. I'm doing a everything, the project, and like it was true at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't get suspect anything, like it was real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, your Thursday, I was told. Okay, you after I sign papers in Kambo, you come back on a Monday. So we, we we scheduled the surgery on a Monday. So when you home, you're not thinking straight because it's a 50-50, but you have to do it since we shan't be able to in the family. Mm -hmm. And the mother is there hop, helplessly. Mm -hmm. So Monday, kafika ni katoka, si kuingia job, ni katoka ni kena hosi. Kwa sababu ah ili sambili tu kena hosi. Surgery ka happen before the surgery. Me doctor ni ambia like at this point. It's 50-50. I'm not going to guarantee you when you high. Because some of, some of the people have a complication. Mm -hmm. And maybe when you up high, and your health is at a complicated state. Mm -hmm. So, leave it to me. We did the surgery for like two weeks. No one knows where I am. Um, before before Apple, like, uh, you know, kuna kuna vanya unezambu fanya kitu out of love, but uh, sezingine you just have to look at yourself. How could picture anything about you, you personally? Okay, I can't even see anything. 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 I can't even see anything.
this is my kidney i mean this is me i cannot do that hata kama ni mambo na mapenzi una get i'll give you full support and everything but kidney ah uh-uh. how could you picture anything kama hiyo at that point the mother is there at the hospital mhm akora two weeks you have a chance of saving someone mm-hmm. right the whole family umejaribu like they are like come, if you don't do this mm-hmm. anakufa you know when you live with that guilt mm-hmm. you had at least ulikuwa na chance kusaidia mse but ukawacha ukawach to akakufa that guilt in any hand by the way so like even though nilikuwa nafanya out of love mm-hmm. also there was that like saidia mtu mm-hmm. yeah so after the surgery Ah uh, nikaka two weeks hosi no one knows where I am jobs yendi natafutwa si mko off mm-hmm. the fam- my family wa juko nyenye niko so nikaka two weeks nikatole nikatole ona what's it on thursday mm-hmm. yeah nikatoka ona thursday ona thursday ma- masaka bada mbaki hosi so the gala akoja kanchukua hosi tukaenda hub it was in Karen Samol so tukachukua we tukachukua like tulikuwa tumeenda na mkoja na brother yake so tumeenda kunywa coffee and they took a big story for like two two good hours so when they start to make stories in Asia then gala kasa my boyfriend yake amerudi and I was like okay at that point ni jo answer my boyfriend yake amerudi ona than ana refer to me mhm so na kwambi okay that eh hey, niko hapa akasema no it's a serious thing i'm not joking boyfriend ati kuna boyfriend yake amekuwa kidit na e for five years and the boyfriend time yote ya covid alifungiwa huko majuu since vitu zimeanza kufunguliwa mm-hmm. boyfriend yake anarudi home msao shape gone a shock paka kofu umekunywa in evaporate yote like it felt like i was dreaming she like hata hakuwa anatetemeka like she was just no. straight forward she said i want to be real with you hakuna jana kudanganya ana kasama boyfriend yake amerudi so at that point really? uko ile like umechanganyikiwa then hati break inakuja but ija fika already like siko ni digest already so hati break inakuja iko on the way but umechanganyikiwa so i was like it's okay nikachukua mimi nikachukua tu ndudi nikaenda home nikwambia wewe fungua gani chukua dawa zangu niende home they did so the brother akuongea so mimi kufika home around uh, usiku sasa let me you lonely naweza ku reflect ndio nikajua hii umewachu Mm-hmm. So that night was the worst. Like sije kwa nasikumbaya kai hiyo. Didn't you figure out like huyo msichana alikuwa tu anataka kutafuta mtu ambaye atasaidia just the mother? At that point you already did it. Cuz at the beginning history yote ikuwa. No no. So like usha usha patia na kid there's no way you're going to get it back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, usha achwa. Mm-hmm. There's no way unaweza convince mtu. Asha kwambia ana alikuwa na date for 5 years tunaona mm. na hakuna wewe unza mkonvince tuache na mtu i tried by the way i tried mm. I, even though aliku, nili, nili feel like um, i was betrayed but i was willing to give another chance so me on um, the second day nikapigiona the guy akaniambia um the brother of the girl ameniambia everything na ameniambia what you did and i'm willing kukuachia cuz uh, you did so much for her than ye kitumefanya for those five years so The next day I called the girl and come the guy and call and he amesema kile utakasema um it won't be a, b- a good picture me kwenda lena we since the guy to me could get for five years so it's either i drop you or because i is achana the girl let's say to me is achana eh yeah after we talk about hospitalini na uka uka kuja nyumbani and sasa hivi leo tunakuona do you have any complication do you have any complication una feel aje mwili is it the same as the way you were before you donate the kidney like no nah, it's not the same because at this point mm-hmm. there's no things you always ifanya there's a certain food you can't eat mm-hmm. there's a certain like you have to avoid a lot of things mm-hmm. and through the complication kuna stuff zingine li a lot and uh, i wish na regret za kuzifanya mm-hmm. yeah unaza mind ku share okay a dream of every person is to have a family That's right true. Mm-hmm. So at that situation I mean that's impossible to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, do you do you do you do you still believe that there's that one woman? You know God anasema that um, every man unapata kwamba amemwekea 
amweke ya msichana do you still have that faith like uh, despite ikila kitu ambacho kime happen najua one day i will get that woman mwenye tuta tuta grow na yeye and even you can you can adapt children do you have that faith no no mm-hmm. uko nilitoka mm-hmm. yeah. so apart from that which which complication do you have ama unapitia shida gani tena na pia nimesikia kusema story na chakula so ni chakula zipi za ambazo wezi kula sahi um there's a like a uh, meat mm-hmm. to avoid meat mm-hmm. like there's a lot to like okay apart from even uh ku struggle health mm-hmm. physically mm-hmm. at that point tunaanza ku struggle mentally mm-hmm. yeah cuz at that point mm-hmm. so we, we tulifika kwa video mm-hmm. yeah so on the video part so like after after that two weeks mm-hmm. ilikuwa i released the video i could release the video so like you know unapita pressure from the people should know video because it was a collab mm-hmm. so so ni mean kama bia wa hivi um at this point stack story mob just send the video mm-hmm. okay tukapelekana tukavutana then aka, akatuma video later so mean kama one day ni ndika visit masake ni mwambie wenye kuliendelea mm-hmm. so ni anakambia masake this is what your daughter did and after yes kuni discharge akaniambia hivi na hivi mm-hmm. and the mother was like here ungechagua pesa sunona like here ungechagua pesa cuz ungechagua at least pesa ungekuwa na stress mob and siwezi ka promise nitamwambia murudiani cuz i can't force it even if ni mwambie ni mkazia rudiani there's a there's a chance bado mtaachana sunona like it good nona vitu kama relationship wezi force mm-hmm. so i was like dili mwambia okay but sasa so you, you can pay me basi and she was like at this point don't me, don't me to me any mob i want to be stuck with and i want to be able to pay you to the amount that you want the, the initial agreement was 8 point something so i said that amount at least like say the deal is off because you pesa zote nimetumia ni mob sana and i'm not even sure i'll be able to pay for more med- medical so me katoka kwa nika disappointed vibaya sana and uh, I later later alone ni kambia the girl this is what you do since need said your family yako and on my side I have cases to answer cuz nafanya ambie mama ni kuwapi for the past two weeks and the job pia nafanya niseme ni kuwapi for the past two weeks so you people have to pay me back sunona tuka argue a lot she brought a lot of issues and uh, tuka kwa enemies mm-hmm. so mi kufika job nikakaka job for like nikafanya job for then the boss akakuja akasema since you are not there for the past two weeks nikapiga transfer from Karen to Rongai mm-hmm. so hiyo ni branch Rongai uh, Karen was the main office Rongai ni branch so kufika huko the fare was too much hiyo time ya covid because I'm like what was jai gari mm-hmm. so mna people like half so you find in a month you all you almost using 8500 as transport peke yake so stress imekupiga ya heartbreak and pia nini ya job hii maza kupiga so kuka hapo for a while i remember one monday nikitoka job office jioni my phone was stolen kwa stage mm-hmm. so nikaka nikaka like a week bila bila nikaka some days bila phone then on that on that same week monday phone na ibiwa then on a thursday nasikia news all over nimetangaza nimekufa what so mimi i have no idea nimekufa cuz sina phone my sister nakuja home jioni and on the on Thursday jioni nimekufa so on Friday sister anatoka job anakuja ananiambia unajua Kenya what going on ananiambia so me kwenye leo nzio swali i thought ni anajua the ameanza kusikia the, the funu na body kidney thing nikamwambia mm-hmm. hapana so akaniambia ebu angalia so akanisho picha yangu ni maandikwa nili overdose like the picture was taken over there on a your place mm-hmm. there's a picture hiyo picha ilichukuliwa hapo mm-hmm. now you dem there's a day to lend hapo na katika hiyo photo mm-hmm. that the same photo nime post on nimekufa and hiyo hizo messages ziko kwa my phone so huyo mchana ndiye ali alitangaza ali eti umekufa at that point siko na idea cuz unajua phone yangu imeibiwa and i didn't see nanga password kwa phone mm-hmm. so nimetangaza nimekufa Tesa zangu za WhatsApp zimepostiwa nimekufa. My account Facebook nimepostiwa nimekufa. Instagram nimepostiwa nimekufa. When ukimte ukitext my phone the reply comes as my sister. Like the mtu ana reply and someone sister yangu. So it's easy for people to believe that. 
Nikafika on Saturday mama kasikia hizo hizo story. Mm-hmm. Um watu wanamjua akasema mbona mtoto anakufa na tuombi. And so mama was so mad. Akuja uh, home aka like aka make sure niko sawa. Niko like niko sawa. So watu walikuwa wanajua niko hai it's only my family and my boss na workmate peke. The rest mm-hmm. watu nimesoma na wao if mtu wote tunanijua alikuwa amejua nimekufa. Mm-hmm. So the news kept going on and on and on. Every day kuna update on the funeral and the stuff. Cuz uh, hiyo time ya covid no one was viewing the body. And also mkona zi mtu akikufa na zana fauzi kwa mapema mm-hmm. according to the rules. So the following week nika nika the burial me plan you to be on Wednesday. And uh, watu wamechanga sijui watu wali, watu walichanga how much but nisikia watu walichanga. So ma, mazishi nafa kwa na Wednesday. So I remember one of my classmate aliamka 5 kwenda mochani. Kwa sababu ndio ali. In the way hiyo place ko expensive. So mimi ndalia kaambia kuna mwili cha toka mwili tatu zitoka morning. So so jana mwambia ajui ni gani but kuna mwili tatu zitoka morning. Si then the, the mazishi liko nafa kwa langata. Hapo cemetery. Then later all the same same day is kwa mazishi. Now na like there's a clip of my my burial. Mm-hmm. Like it's going on. Ebu hold on. So meaning is it vitu zote zilikuwa zimepangwa na huyo msichana? Hapo ndio ilifika you have to realize hapo ndio ni realize yeye yeah, pekee anaweza control your phone. So simu yako pia kuibiwa ilikuwa it was a plan. Yeah, it was a plan. So after the burial nika get a new phone. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to like convince people I'm still alive, you know. Yule demo kaniambia wewe endelea convince people you're still alive mm-hmm. this time umeponea. The next time how to ponea mm-hmm. cuz okay according to her plan it was like nikweli kwa nafani kufe mm-hmm. cuz uh alikuwa no kishatangaza even nimekufa and the burial may happen mm-hmm. then the next maybe after few few more days ukufa mm-hmm. ukole you get killed so it would be hard for police to tr- track anything cuz mm-hmm. uko someone like it uh the reality ni umekufa tseme ulitangaza umekufa last week ndio and the burial can happen everything mm-hmm. you dictate ndo anajua but for the police the information on apatiwa ni umekufa leo mm-hmm. so in two different informations so like akuna vita fatelewa and um so say no no kwa live after everything after umepata a new phone after hizo vitu zote ambazo zinaendelea so you are just najua ilikuwa na ku disturb and stuff ulikuwa na changanyikiwa but unge take a step when you report everything wa moto kwa open up you just report okay at that point you are struggling so much with mental health so it it was hard to open up to someone and sikujua uh, like ndo unafanywa kitu who expect huyo mtu kuona penda the same person anaweza anza go that far so after the mazishi kaisha siku zikapita like at least ilikuwa na job kana nimejificha by the way cuz mtu akishakwambia hivyo unajua huyu achezi then two weeks later after burial nika kwa ofisi tuko huko Rungai polisi wanakuja i'm like wakanambia you under arrest so mse unashikwa huambi umefanya nini mhm mimi ale ni man handle hapo vibaya sana nikaingizwa kwa gari so wakaenda waka drive on the way to the police station mmoja akasema tumpeleke forest and the other ones like no the cash tumepatiwa is not enough tuze peleka pole mtu forest jo 50k and So at that point when he came to Kupelekwa Forest, no ni police na sema kupeleke forest. At that point he was like he ndio mwisho. So the other one akakata kaigi for a while then akasema bas madam akiongeza pesa tutampeleka. Asipongeza chat akai sell kwanza for a while. So ni kapelekwa sell. Watu wanapelekwa kotini. Mhm. Unawasindikiza unarudi. Mhm. So ilikuwa hivyo for like two months. My family wana nitafuta akina police station onambo watu nilitulana kishiko na polisi but akina police station no one someone like waje na mtuka huyu hapo mhm so ilikuwa hapo mpaka boss wanga kaleta shida that's when nikuja nika kwa released and then on the kwenda kwa released akembo okay, watu charges zilikuwa gani unambo wale like, i was uh, charged with robbery robbery with violence mm-hmm. na shindo umeka kwa ofisi i really talk to people by the way umeka kwa ofisi and una charge na robbery with violence na ni kwa stage kwenye ofisi iko ni karibu na stage mm-hmm. violence mchana na ni kwa stage and i was like wanaambia wali sema unless 
ni twe 75k mm -hmm. that's when naza kwa list that point mzee huna do ni mm -hmm. time ya covid jobs ziko zimekuwa less so my boss akasema ni sawa my boss alitoa the 75k akasema tani mimi nitamlipa sasa instead ni mlipe pole pole mm -hmm. yaache akanitoka polisi a uh, few days later dema na call akanishi unajua ni veni nilikosa do ni veni nilikosa do by now nilikuwa sure unaenda kufa so why 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 was she doing all that the reason to argue about the kidney mhm mm nilimwambia since your mama kona kidney yangu mimi ndo na hold maisha yake mm -hmm. and bila hiyo maisha hiyo bila your kidney mm -hmm. and atakufa at na nilimwambia i want it back ile fika to a place ndiko tuna tetrina vibaya sana mm. but mimi my motive was not like kuna to an extent of like taking someone's life hata nilijua even whatever tukiago at a certain point eta vika please ni nataka nikufe but hey mse yo dmz mm -hmm. like he was on a, another level so at that point mse ume struggle hauna time ya ku heal cuz the moment umetoka kwa some one thing kidogo kidogo kipumzika hivi another inatokea mm -hmm. so um after his, after the dramas and the stuff so kila kitu ilitulia yeah ili bit sasa tuende tuka hiding nikaenda like unaenda hiding for real unatai mm -hmm. bukijiangalia because mm -hmm. i remember there was a certain point nikitembea i felt like people were following me mm -hmm. na ni kweli niko na photo i remember kuna time nimetoka job hata kushiko na polisi mm -hmm. everything imetulia nimetoka ana before nishiko na polisi nimetoka job kufika karen nisi mm -hmm. ningeza kwa gari Siju ni mengizo wapi. Tukifika Daystar kuna polisi na kuangua mesimamu hapo. Mm -hmm. So at that point, siju wa kwanza mshua magali nza nini, nikatupu wangwa inje. Mm -hmm. Like, at that, ukila, una, the moment una, 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 le, kuna kachi unanda kuhail, mm -hmm. something lazy me toke. Mm -hmm. But ilifika point yenye, ali disappear once hiyo. Uyo mshana. Kwa za li realize at that point, sa ata siya kwa nta kuniwa sasa. Itifika polisi ni kasema, it's either ni kunipuwa ni kikufa. I tried even commit suicide more than 10 times in a month. Cuz uko depressed by sana, we is open up, tell me open up to the family. That means you have to tell them the story from the beginning. So na. Hiyo time hiyo tu mshina watu kwa nyumba. Watasema hiyo time mtu mbona ungetuambia. So like you learn to there's no need. No no. I remember ni kwanza after even for you can nimeenda mpaka kwa therapist. Kama watano. Like there's no change. So na. Like kila mtu akointese na kusikia the story but ikifika that certain point mm -hmm. the, it's like inakafani kwao so naona so ili fika like please nikaona like there's no need mm -hmm. no, no. so let's say to me can and find kwa hapa is the music that i do no no because mm -hmm. no one was there i said there's not like no one was there to help mm -hmm. yeah and so up to date your family i joy you at that yeah the only story my family knows ni kushikwa na kwenda nini Jela na kukufa na kuku, ya kwenda kukutangaza kuku, kukufa because it was all over mm -hmm. na kwenda jela we and also before tumalizie the way we are just standing here what do you feel i mean what do you feel about yourself after everything yenye meku happen here feel sad mm -hmm. sad depressed mm -hmm. yeah so up to date i mean is there any time that you ever accept what happened and you just tell yourself the lady alisha toka no no and then unapata kuna ile point ya tunaambiwa god unapata ndio anakuanga na future yetu kwa mikono yake so can you just tell yourself accept everything useme that is in the past ya uwezi erase and it can never get out of your mind but unajiambia tu ya kwamba it is in my past i want now to move forward unaweza can you ever do that i've tried mhm mm me try for like two years mm -hmm. there's no change like mm -hmm. So you know, it it gets to a point where you know like una ina bidu zoe mm -hmm. whatever it will happen mm -hmm. it will happen so like but you know you can't hit na fema two point is my sister hit because she whatever she did it mm -hmm. was the reason mm -hmm. and uh every at a certain point claim that at a at a half to kukufa mm -hmm. and maybe sometimes we feel like making it easier mm -hmm. yeah and um just a crazy question for now do you have any feelings for a lady Zero. Zero. Yeah. It is um, a story that um, on my side, in inani changanya. Like you know, even if I'm talking, unapata na kumbuka, 
vila alianza kutuelezea it is so touching and uh, we have heard a lot of stories but this one man uh -uh. so you people out there are so heartless this way i mean Acha tukate. Um, I just want you to say your your final say. I mean, just any any anything that you just want to tell the people who will watch this video. Um, whatever you do, do it for a good reason and uh, stay positive. Life 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 is not to be so fucking hard, no mm. So you just be you, stay positive and do your best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And uh, so kwa ambao wako na any story ambayo nyinyi mnataka watu wasikize pale nje Empire Group Production got you. Alafu hapo chini uta there is a number hapo chini ambayo tumeandika ya director Daya ambayo ukiwa na any story you just call ama you just text alafu mahala pala ambapo utakuwa sisi tutafika hapo. So guys um, it has been a sad story on my side with him. I was just controlling my emotions juu mimi machozi yangu ni ya huko. So uh -huh. I think it's just a wrap for today. Until we meet next time. It has been your girl Jitabi Suleiman and uh, my director, Director Daya. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to, to comment hapo chini. How, what is your view on this story? And uh, any advice that you can give him, then we'll just send it to him. Thank you so much and bye-bye.